No, such courage, Tristan, as well as having your back. I have to know when, first of all, how are you feeling right now? Sad, but, you know, I, I know I made I made the right decision. I hate to say I made the decision, but, um, you know, because it's a team. But I just can't put him through it anymore. And, and it was the right decision. Thank you. <laughs> I just Every feel badly. I feel like a loser. No, I feel like no. a loser partner. Today you guys lost such a sweetheart, Dorothy. Did you guys know prior to the show that she was going to be leaving? I had no idea. I'm so sorry to see her leave because she might be the sweetest woman on the face of the earth. Uh, she will definitely be missed. Well, she's been my rock. I bonded with her right away. I'm just sad. She's such a, a beautiful person. She really deserves the best in life. And for this to happen to her, it's such a shame. But really, like Carrie Ann said, props to her for taking care of her body yeah. and not ignoring it. Yeah. It's so important. She made the right choice. She really did. Yeah. When the doctor gave you the news that, Dorothy, you can't go on, what was your immediate reaction? Well, it, it sort of suggested that a week ago, but mm -hmm. I was, I'm in denial and, you know, I thought, that they didn't, we didn't do anything heroic to get through the last week. But, um, you know, I, I just knew in my heart that I couldn't make the commitment and that, you know, I have some pretty serious right now uh, problems that um, will get worse and could potentially be permanent. And I just am not willing to take that risk. I, you know, hopefully I'll have a couple more years of ice skating or walking or maybe even dancing. You, know? <laughs> you had everybody at the edge of their seats crying, your husband in, in the audience crying. What was his reaction and what was his words to you when you told him, honey? He's the one who helped me come to the decision because he could see the pain, not physical pain, but sort of the, the emotional torture that you know I was struggling with. And I don't like to be a quitter if I commit to something. And you know he's been so supportive when, when he said, you know, if you want to do this, you know, I'm with you. It was a little intense, and it was sad to see um, you know Dorothy and Tristan have to bow, out, especially due um, due to an injury. But you know, we wish her a speedy recovery. It's sad. Really sad. What was going through your mind when you saw that Dorothy was leaving the show? Uh, it's heartbreaking. It was it was really emotional. I think all the cast members were really upset, and it's just really a bummer because I really enjoyed getting to know her, and I have so much respect for her. So I wish she could have stayed in this competition. She's an American treasure. I grew up watching her, and I recently worked with her. She has a saint heart. I mean, every time I pass her in the hallway, she touched my arm or hugged me. She's just everybody's favorite. She's so adorable and just tried so hard, tried so hard. And there's something about that moment when you must admit, this is where I'm at, and I can't, what did she say? I can't live up to you know what's expected of me. It just breaks my heart to see that happen to someone who tried so hard. First it was just hard seeing her be, being in, in that much pain. And then it was just hard because I knew how bad she wanted. And she's an athlete and at the end the athlete wants to go until there's, you know, until somebody has to kind of pull them off the floor. But she did it at a time when she could save somebody else's uh, kind of dream and she did it and I'm so proud of her. But it was really hard to see her in that much pain. She just, she just as a competitor, her spirit was willing, her body just was, was failing. I understand an athlete's side of everything when they get hurt like that. So for me, it was a touching moment because she's a good person, one. Two, it's not like she, she just, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. She's trying, working her butt off every day. I've seen it, witnessed it, and she just couldn't do it. And, and it just, I don't know, it's kind of like, it, it hurt me to see that. What we really felt bad about tonight, because I've become really close to Dorothy, and I saw she was really struggling, you know, and it was really difficult. I mean, I don't know that we would have been going home, but it wasn't about us, really. It was about, you know, she wanted it so badly, and that was hard to watch. So I guess next week is prom week. What is going to be the dance, Peter? We have the cha-cha, so it's fun already. Yeah. Yeah. Prom, proms are fun, so we're we're definitely gonna make it fun, and we're gonna make it pop a little bit. What do you remember of your prom? Ooh, I remember just having a great time. You know, eighteen-year-old <laughs> kid just letting loose, having fun. Uh, I love prom. A lot of fond memories. Uh, we are doing cha cha, but we have a really cool theme that we've uh, planned out for. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's not gonna be your average prom. Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be exciting. I don't let anything go. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. just watch it. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Do you remember your prom? Did you have a prom? I did have a prom. I went to my prom uh, last May, so oh, it was recent. Recent. Yes. Tell us about the prom night. 
Um, well, I had practice that morning and then so I had to leave at like 10 at night because I had practice the next morning and I was pretty focused on making the Olympic team, <laughs> but it was still nice to be able to see my school friends and I still had fun. Yeah, sorry. Did you remember your prom? When, uh, did you have prom? I had prom. I sang at my prom and my prom. I didn't even drink or do anything that I wasn't, but I'm going to the night of our dance. Well, I went to five different proms. I was the guy, and that's true. I Him? Was, yeah, I was the guy when a woman couldn't get a date, I was the guy they called. And they paid me $25, so I had five proms. The ugliest woman you ever see. You can't tell the difference between them and me. But uh, I, I got to say, I was rocking that burger knee corduroy uh, uh, tuxedo. You never went to prom? No, I never went to prom. If you had your dream prom date, who would have been your dream, your dream prom date? Uh, well, it's many moons ago. I don't recall. <laughs> oh, we didn't have a prom. She didn't have a prom. I didn't have a prom. So we're going to have a prom on a Monday night. Okay. And Alicia's dream is going to come true. Oh, what's the dream? I don't know. Uh, I haven't told him my dreams yet. So. Well, to, what go, would... to do it with me, you know, oh, that's what I meant. <laughs>